taking a closer look at the way the state's most powerful lawmakers are chosen. The lawmakers who become Senate President and House Speaker are elected by voters in their districts, but elevated to their leadership positions by their peers. And it often happens just days after the election behind closed doors. Now some senators are questioning the process. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is in our newsroom now with the details. Kim? Well, Shannon, State Senator Donna Nesselbush is leading the charge to try and change the way that General Assembly members pick their leaders. She says the current process leads to alliances, power plays, and unfair treatment. On the first day of session in January, reps and senators take a roll call vote to pick their leaders, like Senate President Dominic Ruggiero and House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello. But who's going to be in power is typically decided months before in closed door caucuses where members are required to voice their allegiance. Now, Senator Donna Nesselbush and Senate candidate Sam Bell are calling for reform, pushing for the process to be changed from a vote that's spoken aloud to a secret ballot. There is absolutely a negative consequence if you don't vote for the winning leadership team. Nesselbush says state law requires the use of a ballot, pointing to language that says on the first day of session, the member calling the Senate to order shall receive the ballots of the members whose names are on the list. We asked Governor Gina Raimondo about the issue. I don't know that it matters whether it's secret or not, but certainly it should be the case that everybody feels comfortable to vote the way they want to and dissent. Nesselbush says it isn't that way. Fish rot from the head and we have to bring back fundamental democracy to Rhode Island. Nesselbush says this isn't personal. She says with no opposition to the current leadership in the Senate, now is the time to make a change. They are not bad people. They just inherited a bad system and they haven't yet found the courage to change that system to a system that is more democratic. And I did reach out to the spokesman for both Ruggiero and Mattiello for comment on this issue, but so far we have not heard back. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.